Hey, what's up, my techies? Today we've got something special to talk about. Do you know what time of year it is? Yep, Apple just dropped their latest and greatest, the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro. We're going to dive deep into all the details, the design, the features, and of course, the tech that powers these devices. So grab your snacks, get comfy, and let's roll the intro. All right, folks, here we go. The iPhone 15 and 15 Pro are out, and as always, Apple has a lot to offer. We're going to break down everything you need to know, so let's start with the design. First things first, both the iPhone and iPhone 15 Pro come with a design that screams Apple. We're talking sleek, premium, and yes, still instantly recognizable. But there are some notable changes. The big design shift this time around is the materials. Apple ditched the stainless steel frame from the previous model and went with titanium for the 15 Pro. It's not just about aesthetics, it's about durability and weight. And let me tell you, these devices are noticeably lighter. If you've ever felt the need for a lighter iPhone, this is your moment. Talking the colors talk, you've got four to choose from, the classic black and white titanium, a striking blue titanium, and a natural titanium with a cool gray tone. Apple always nails it with the color choices, and this year is no exception. Both models have slightly rounded edges, which feel great in hand. Apple has also trimmed down those bezels for more screen real estate, which we'll get to in a bit. But first, let's talk about that action button. The iPhone 15 Pro introduces the action button, which replaces the traditional mute switch. It's customizable, so you can set it to perform various functions. It defaults as a mute key, but you can make it launch your camera, open apps, or even perform more complex tasks using the Shortcuts app. It's a small change, but it adds a layer of convenience. Another significant shift is the port. Apple has finally made the switch to USB-C, offering faster data transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second. The days of lightning ports are behind us. But, and here's the catch, you'll need to buy a USB 3.0 compatible cable separately to unlock those faster transfer rates. Flip these beauties over and you'll notice the camera bump. Speaking of which, let's jump into one of the most exciting aspects of any iPhone, the camera. The iPhone 15 and 15 Pro cameras have some incredible upgrades. Let's start with the Pro model. The 15 Pro features a three times zoom camera, which offers more versatility and helps you nail those portrait mode shots. But here's where it gets interesting. The regular iPhone 15 gets a major camera boost. It packs a 48 megapixel main camera sensor a significant upgrade from the previous model. Now, this isn't the exact same sensor as the one in the 14 Pro, but it's no slouch. It supports two times optical grade zoom, which is fantastic for those close-up shots. Both models can now capture super high-res photos at a stunning 24 megapixel resolution. This strikes the perfect balance between the lower detail 12 megapixel shots and the larger, but sometimes unwieldy, 48 megapixel images. Apple, you've hit the sweet spot here. Now, for the Pro version, there's more. You get new optical grade focal lengths of 1.2 times, around 28 millimeters, and 1.5 times, approximately 35 millimeters. These additional focal lengths provide you with more versatility and are a bigger deal than they might seem at first glance. Apple is also courting the videographers among us. The iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max bring enhanced video capabilities, including vlog encoding. But there's one more feature that's exclusive to the Pro model. Spatial video, folks. It's a game changer. It adds depth to your videos, something you'll fully appreciate when you experience it on the Apple Reality Pro headset. Sadly, we'll have to wait a bit for that. Oh, and let's not forget about ProRes video recording. You can now record ProRes video directly to an external storage drive. That's a treat for anyone who wants to take their video quality to the next level. Now, let's talk about audio quality and haptics. Both models sport the classic Taptic engine that Apple has been perfecting for years. When it comes to audio, they have a main bottom firing speaker and a helper speaker in the earpiece. The sound quality is top-notch, as you'd expect. Crank up the volume and you'll be impressed. 
No, they haven't brought back the headphone jack, but you can still use the USB-C port to connect your wired headphones. Battery life, a topic dear to our hearts. Apple has stuck with similar battery life estimates as the previous models. You'll get a slightly longer battery life out of the Pro model, but let's be clear, these are still one-day battery phones. Overnight charging is still the name of the game. And speaking of charging, yes, we have USB-C ports on both of these beauties, but no, Apple won't give you a charger in the box. What you do get is a USB-C cable, and it's a braided one no less. Unfortunately, charging speeds haven't seen significant improvements. You're still looking at around 1 hour and 40 minutes to charge these iPhones from zero to full. But there's a silver lining. Transfer rates have improved, but here's the kicker. It's only on the 15 Pro model. This one supports USB 3 at speeds of 10 gigabits per second, but you'll need to buy a thicker cable separately to take advantage of those faster speeds. Both phones do come with the same 15 watt MagSafe wireless charging support. It's quick and convenient, as we've come to expect from Apple. All right, let's dive into the engine that powers these beasts, the A17 Bionic chip. It's a generational leap forward thanks to the transition to 3 nanometer manufacturing. What does that mean for you? Well, it's faster and more power efficient, making everything smoother and more responsive. But there's a group of people who will especially appreciate this chip, gamers. The A17 6-core GPU offers significant improvements in both peak speeds and sustained performance. Gaming on these devices is going to be a whole new level of fun. Official sources suggest that the 15 Pro will have 8GB and the iPhone 15 will come with 6GB. So rest assured, both these phones are going to be speedy. On the software side, both the iPhone 15 Pro and the regular iPhone 15 run on iOS 17. There are some nifty updates, including improvements to the phone, messages, and FaceTime apps. NameDrop, a new feature in the iPhone app, lets you bring your iPhone close to another one to exchange contacts. Messages get new stickers and animated stickers, and Siri is now responsive when you simply say, Siri. Apple's legendary software update policy is in full effect here. Both these phones are expected to receive updates for the next five or even six years. Now, for connectivity, there's no difference between these two. They both support 5G bands, but there's a cool new feature you should know about, emergency SOS via satellite. This feature might just be a lifesaver in areas with no cellular coverage. So, which one should you go for, the iPhone 15 or the iPhone 15 Pro? It's a tough call because Apple has made them more similar than ever before. The iPhone 15 Pro brings speed, buttery smooth scrolling with its 120Hz ProMotion, slightly longer battery life, an extended zoom range, and some nifty Pro features like the action button. If these things matter to you, it's worth the investment. But don't overlook the iPhone 15. It boasts a highly capable camera system, the dynamic island, a lighter design, and some fun color options. For many, it might be the perfect choice. So there you have it the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro. Apple continues to refine and innovate, offering something for everyone. The choice is yours. Before we wrap up, let me know in the comments which one you're leaning towards. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech goodness, and I'll catch you in the next one.